So this is the serpentine belt replacement for the Saturn Ion. We're taking off the air filter uh, top and we're jacking up the car so that we can reach both uh, the fan belt uh, area from below and above. The biggest challenge with this job is to reach the uh, tensioner, the belt tensioner, which is up behind where the uh, passenger wheel is. It's way up inside there and it's very, very tight. There's n no room at all. That's the tensioner right there. You'll see a little square hole in it. That is a 3 8 inch drive that you need to use a 3 8 inch flex handle. There's the red arrow showing where it is. Or a tool. We couldn't even get a flex handle in there so we bought from Harbor Freight a funny looking little drive that is a 3 8 inch on one side and a nut that I believe is a 13 millimeter on the other side. That let us put it into that square hole and then use a crescent wrench on it to give us the leverage that we needed to lift it up and release the tension. Here's the view from below. Here's the tool that we bought from Harbor Freight. It comes in a pack of three, a one quarter, three eighths and half inch drive. It's a nut on one end and a three eighths inch drive on the other end is what we used. That's the configuration we used in our job that we did today. It was very difficult, but we were able to uh, put the uh, component, that uh, drive piece, onto the wrench, put it down in there, get it into the car, get it in position. The first time that we had the wrench on it, there are the pieces in place. Um, we did not have the wrench in the correct position, so we weren't able to lift the tensioner up enough to release enough uh, tension. And we had to reposition the wrench. Here we're putting the belt on from below. I recommend working with a friend because you are below, the friend is above, and together you make sure that you get it on. Here we're failing because we didn't have enough room on the uh, swing of the wrench to get enough tension relieved. relieved. We needed to reposition the wrench and that gave us the extra swing room on the wrench and that gave us the extra tension relief that let us put the belt on. Here we go. He's above. Notice how he slipped it off of the tensioner. I'm below. I'm able to reach up in there and put that right back on the tensioner and with just one little swing we've got it on. It's in position and it's ready to go. Notice as he lets go the belt tensions up and that's a job that took way too long. Here the car is running and it's working great. Good luck to you. I hope yours went smoother than mine.